Hey guys, I'm back with another video. This time I'm going to show you my January 2021 haul. Uh, it's a lot of stuff to get through, so let's get started. Uh, this is Halloween 2018 media book. I got this from Diabolik DVD. Quite nice. I'm not sure if I want to open it. Um, I may keep it sealed because I already have the uh, 4K release. Uh, I may keep this one sealed. So, yeah, Halloween 2018. Nice. Uh, this one I will know, well, undoubtedly open. Showgirls. Another media book. And I also got this at Diabolik. Um, let's carefully slice this sucker open. Ever so careful. This stuff does not come cheap. And they're limited, so... By the way, I use an actual box cutter to open my Blu-rays. I don't use bread knives. I don't use my fingernails. I don't use screwdrivers, just my trusty old box cutter here. Not passing judgment on anybody who, who do use these things. I mean, it's, it's to, each, to each their own, right? But I, I need to be really careful with how I open this stuff. Um, yeah, this is a very nice release. It comes from Cape Light from Germany. Be careful... I need to be careful what I show. I've already made him made one quick boo boo. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's all in German, which does not really matter to me, because all I want is the movie in 4K, and this is the back cover. It's quite nice, I think. Show Goyles, poor Verhoeven. Not a masterpiece by any by a long shot, but quite enjoyable, I think. Uh, Johnny Handsome, starring Mickey Rourke and Morgan Freeman. Another German piece, quite nice. I, um, I buy these to replace generic U.S. Blu-rays. I really hate generic packaging. Um, whenever possible, I will always double dip if need be. To get a nice um, media book or steel book or box set or whatever from overseas, uh, I am region free, so if um, th that's not an issue, I don't think this is region locked. Many of these are not region locked. I don't know about this one. This um, well, it, it does say B, so I guess it is locked. But yeah, Johnny Handsome, and I took the liberty of. Swapping discs. This is the uh, U.S. Lionsgate disc uh, Blu-ray because I don't, I don't really need, you know, a DVD. So I've got a, I've got the German Blu-ray. I think this is, what is this? This is an extras disc. Quite unnecessary, if you ask me. Um, but yeah, Johnny Handsome. Okay, now I got this uh, VHS retro set, also from Germany, as you can see by the huge logo, and this I will open. This is uh, this is going to replace uh, DVD sets that I own, which you guys have seen on my videos. I've got the old DVD sets, which look similar to this. But this one incorporates both of the posters on this on the cover, so I, I don't need two two of those. Even though I love these movies very much, I need to cut back a little bit on the space there. This is a it's a VHS retro set. It's very nice. Let's see how. Thank you. Yeah, slides under. And comes in a repli replica tape. All right, very cool. And 
There it is. One disc for both films. This is the grind, Grindhouse version of Planet Terror and Death Proof. So I'm going to put that back. I don't think I'll be needing that, but I'll put it back. These, are these I assume, are just art cards. So quite nice. Grindhouse and Death Proof. Uh, well, Death Proof and Planet Terror, but Grindhouse is the... Uh, Name of the film. Okay, so very nice release. VHS retro set. 500 pieces. Kurt Russell. <laughs> Man, this what a badass in this movie. But then he turns into you-know-what at the end. Very entertaining piece of uh, filmmaking there. Uh, this is Major Dundee. It's a... It's a limited edition from Imprint Films. It's a new Australian label. Uh, this looks similar to some of those Vinegar Syndrome boxes, like, uh, let's see, like the Angel Collection. Uh, this one's a side loader, right? Uh, but the Amityville set is just like this. It's a, you pull the top off. And inside are two standard clear Blu-ray cases. There's no swag in this. No uh, posters, no booklet. And it's got a theatrical version and an extended version. Uh, this um, will replace my Twilight Time uh, release. Um, as I've... Uh, said earlier, I am very pro-fancy packaging. I love uh, when they go the extra mile like this. Uh, you know, this is this is a bit a bit overkill for Major Dundee. I don't know if it, the film needs to be so fancy. Uh, but, nice hard box. Uh, but yeah, I will definitely grab the fancy version whenever possible if it's a movie I love. Uh, this this film I have not seen yet though, um, but I I I love war movies and uh, this one has a bit of a you know good reputation I think uh, and it's got Charlton Heston and Richard Harris in it, so not a bad purchase. This was not cheap by the way. I think I paid upwards of maybe close close to fifty for this. Also through Diabolik. Okay, and I managed to find a copy of this on Diabolik, uh, the Studio Canal version of Total Recall. Uh, there are plenty of unboxing videos of this one online, so I'm not going to even open it. But I did pick this up because of uh, it contains the CD soundtrack, and uh, I really love the music in this film. Um, this is a minor classic. You know, I'm glad to have this collection. I also purchased the regular 4K version when it when it first came out, but uh, this will be my go-to version. Total Recall box set from Studio Canal 4K. And back here, hidden behind my uh, Blu-rays, is the Film Noir collection, Volume One, from Indicator. Columbia Film Noir. Uh, I am not terribly familiar with Film Noir. Uh, I have not seen many Film Noirs. I am familiar with the genre uh, to an extent. Uh, but uh, this was my... Uh, this is my, int my introduction to Film Noir. I've already watched Drive a Crooked Road with Mickey Rooney. I, I enjoyed it. It was, uh, was alright. It's good. Good stuff, um, you know, and I love Indicator. And, you know, I, they, they don't put out a lot of movies that I like. Um, I'm not really into uh, uh, Golden Age films very much. That's not to say I don't like old, creaky old black and white movies, because that is not the case, folks. Uh, don't misunderstand. I am not anti-old movie. I do love old movies. And I own plenty of them. 
Uh, but uh, some you know, some genres I'm not fam familiar with, and some I just don't like or don't really enjoy. But, you know, it is what it is. We all have our likes and dislikes. Next, uh, of course, we've got the Vinegar Syndrome January package, starting with Satan's Blood, House of Usher, Dark Tower, right, very nice, and Cthulhu Mansion. Cthulhu Mansion. Now, I think the Vinegar Syndrome... Hang on. I think Vinegar Syndrome is... You know, these look very similar. And they're... They're, they're great. They look very nice. But they look too similar, I think. Uh, they should try to change it up a little bit. Uh, but yeah, Cthulhu Mansion... Looking forward to watching this one. Maybe I'll pop that in later. So that's my Vinegar Syndrome January stash right there. I love these guys. Okay, so... All right. Um, speaking of imprint, uh, here is Fire in the Sky and The Deep. Uh, a very exciting new label from Australia. Um, I do have to say, though, that uh, it's a little disappointing that Imprint does not restore the films. Um, they they pretty much release whatever they are given. Uh, in, in some cases, you know, the, the transfers are okay. You know, they look decent. Uh, but in some cases, they leave a lot to be desired. I have not seen these yet. These are brand new pickups. I have not seen them yet. But I have seen a lot of um, online reviews and comments... Uh, that say that uh, some of the transfers are not, uh, you know, they're not very good or uh, they could be improved upon. I, I, you know, nevertheless, I am very excited about this new label. I plan on uh, grabbing uh, many of their, their titles. They have, I think they have, they have Breakdown coming. Yeah, Breakdown coming next month, I believe, or maybe March. But it's coming and so is... The Mothman Prophecies. So I can't wait for those. Um, and this is my... Uh, it's, it's one of those ge generic Blu-rays I was talking about earlier that I am going to be replacing with this. Now, you know, I know there's, there are people out there who, who don't care about packaging. Um, but I do. You know, it's for me, it's a big deal. I, I You know, it's not just about the movie. It's not about just the movie to me as a collector i like to have um some nice something nice to look at and honestly which one which one of these would you rather have on your shelf to look at the artwork is the same the artwork is the same the this you know the girl and the um, whatever who, whoever this is is also on the imprint cover but Look at how much nicer the imprint looks. It's, it's a slip box. And the artwork is probably the same. Let's see. Yeah. The same. Same same thing. More or less, right? Uh, but this is much nicer. This, is, For starters, this one has a clear case. And the clear cases just look a whole lot nicer. I don't know. Maybe it is just me. If you If you guys have any thoughts on this... Please comment below, but I really like, you know, um, this version. And, you know, Imprint, you know, they, they they seem to be more about extras. No, they had, they they put out a lot of extras. Some some extras are, are exclusive to, to Imprint. Uh, they also poured over a lot of stuff from uh, U.S. versions. But uh, yeah, they're not they're not uh, about picture quality. They're about extras and presentation, which is fine. You know, I mean, 
stuff the, the, there's there's a lot of stuff that's making its way to to Blu-ray via these guys like um, a, a place in the sun is, is it called uh, breakdown the Mothman prophecies it's all coming to Blu-ray thanks to these guys um, all right I picked up some media books uh, I'm sorry some uh, regular Blu-rays from Nova Media. And these are just regular movies in slip boxes. Uh, What's Eating Gilbert Grape? Got the Pandorum. Again, these are just regular Blu rays. Some some have booklets. This one has a booklet. But look how look at how nice this artwork is. Isn't that nice? Pandorum. Malena. Alright. Angel Has Fallen with a lenticular slip. Again, just a regular Amore uh, Blu-ray case with a lenty slip. There you go, nice. There Will Be Blood, Daniel Day-Lewis. It's thin, this one's thinner. Okay, this is from, also from Nova Media, but I think Kimchi DVD also sells these. And last but not least, uh, Pandorum. Um, Equilibrium. Look at how nice that is. This is this is replacing my Canadian Steelbook. Yep. Okay, and I also picked up Gangs of New York from Nova Media. This is the full slip version. Really nice. This is a Steelbook. Right there, there's the back cover. Okay, so yeah, Gangs of New York, real, real nice, real nice stuff. Um, Grizzly Two, it's a BDR, unfortunately, but this is a bit of a footnote of a movie, so I thought it was worth picking up. Grab the Ascent from Criterion, still sealed. I'm not going to uh, unseal these on camera, guys, because uh, I only have about uh, a few minutes left, so i I, I got to I gotta breeze through these. But I will I'll, I will unbox this one. This one, this is Queens of Evil, right? And Mondo Macabro went the extra mile with this one. Uh, I've got to be careful what I show. I don't know if this contains any explicit... Artwork, but this is very nice. Yeah, this is very nice. It's a two disc limited edition, right? Two disc set with some cool swag and a DVD edition inside. That's the back artwork Queens of Evil Mondo Macabro. I got these a couple days ago. Panic Beats, also sealed and Blood ceremony sealed, still sealed. Um, and this is another imprint pickup, Rage with Glenn Ford and Stella Stevens. It's from the mid sixties, nineteen sixty six. I got this from Deep Discount. Uh, these were these are not cheap. Again, these are will range. Between thirty and thirty-five bucks without tax, without the tax. And uh, I've got another batch of indicator titles: Valdez Horses, which was Charles Bronson. Okay, Valdez Horses and Light Sleeper, Willem Dafoe. Okay. And the Valachi papers, which is why, you know, they, they had a deal. They had uh, a deal, an online deal. You have to buy the bundle with that contains these four movies, and you get a special discounted price. So that's a nice. This is this is the reason why I got this bundle because for this movie. Okay, so and here's Geronimo, an American legend. So nice stuff from Indicator. Mm -hmm. so you guys want to read? Pause and read that. Okay, I've got No Way Home from Severin. 
the only Severin release I picked up, the, the only Black Friday release I picked up. I was not interested in their other stuff. Team Torera, Tiger Shark from uh, Scorpion. It's an MGM pickup. With Hugo Stiglitz. All right. And I also grabbed 2012 on 4K, and which is going to, re it's going to replace my Dutch Steelbook. Now, which, which one should I use, guys? You, you let me know. Should I use the Steelbook or the regular 4K? You decide. All right. And, of course, Southland Tales. I hope I didn't make a mistake in buying this. All right, and I think that's it. I, oh, and uh, Orgy of the Living Dead, a.k.a. The Hanging Woman. This is the fixed version. And a couple of Van Damme flicks. Guys, this is it for me for this video. I will see you on my next video. Thank you for watching. Leave any comments below, and I appreciate your viewership. Thank you.